Hello and welcome to this episode of Makerbox Mondays. In this episode I'm going to have a look at a filament from Nile and it's called Fluonar C Kynar PVDF. It's a new type of material and I've seen this material type before but let's have a look after the intro. So this is a very very special filament. It's a new type of material and not commonly used. I believe there is only one manufacturer for this filament. Uh, it's called NilePolymers.com. And let's have a look at the label for this filament. So here they say it's Fluonar C Kynar PVDF. So it's a some strange name material. But here they say the hot end per Hot end temperature should be 250 to 260, bed temperature 100C and speed 10 to 30, so very slow speeds. Cooling off and glue stick for bed addition. And here they say Fluonar C is made from Ar Arkema Kylnar Flex PVDF. That's uh, a special material. Our filament is both 100% Kylnar. Uh, and 100% PVDF. <laughs> Key Fluonar C advantages include an excellent toughness and abrasion resistance, extreme chemical compatibility, zero flame propagation, resistant to UV and IO ionizing radiation, high temperature up to 150C, and low extractables, ISO certified print beautiful parts with zero warping for crucial applications using Fluonar C. And I was reading a little bit about <laughs> this filament and wondering what that ionizing radiation meant and whatnot. And on their website, nilepolymers.com, you can read about it. It's uh, radiation resistant, so it can be used in, in in nuclear power plants or <laughs> somewhat, <laughs> somewhat similar applications. Um, I'm not a specialist in that, but uh, it seems to be very resistant to very abrasive chemicals and, and radiation. So it could be used in prototyping in, in that environment. Um, it's a pretty, pretty cool filament, but let's have a look at some of the prints I did. And as this was a new type of filament I never seen before, I did the break tests, found out it's really tough filament. It, it stretches quite a bit before it breaks, but so the layer adhesion for this filament was a little bit better than patchy and nylon, so it's, it's quite a tough filament. It, it takes, it gives a little bit before it breaks and, and then it snaps together. Um, I want to see how that went. Um, I then printed out a uh, string test. Um, you can see it was a little bit, <laughs> a little bit wobbly. <laughs> uh, it uh, really needs some cooling. I was having the fan off, but uh, the tips melted quite a bit. But layer adhesion here is extremely strong. It just bends and behaves somewhat like nylon. It's uh, difficult to break and it just bends and stretches. So layer adhesion is, is very good. I then printed out a bridging test and that didn't look very nice. <laughs> a lot of drooping on, on the issues. And also an uh, overhang test. And my findings for that, I was printing too fast. I uh, didn't give the filament uh, any chance to cool down. So I slowed down the, the print and got this overhang test. And that came out pretty nice. There's a tiny bit tiny bit of, of drooping here in the 70 degrees but other than that it came out pretty nice and it looks really really nice so uh, printing slow is, is key for this filament and I printed another printing test and that came out much better even though there's uh, some drooping but nothing close to what I did <laughs> earlier <laughs> so uh, and I added a tiny amount of fan, cool part cooling fan as well to do the bridges. And then I printed out Mr. Belly and that came out pretty nice. You can see here some issues because I'm printing too fast. The material needs to cool down. It's printing at 260 degrees with a small amount of fan. It takes a little bit of time to cool down. But um, Mr. Belly looked pretty nice and it's quite, quite difficult to, to break. It, it bends. 
bends a lot before breaking so it's a very tough filament but this will be it for this filament it's a pretty nice filament it's a special <laughs> use case in nuclear applications or something but uh, as you print it slower you can get pretty nice results printing too fast was my first failure <laughs> for the first test it just melted down and I didn't have a chance to cool down but I would love to try this filament on a full review to get a little bit more chance to dial in the settings for it but this will be it for this video I thank you for watching and if you like what I'm doing here on the channel uh, please subscribe and leave a comment on the video and hit the like button but for now I thank you for watching and I'll see you later